about the family and privacy and you know, cr your girl does this and your guy visits and you have to sit on the porch and court. And, but she's from that era. But she was a rebel from that era. She didn't really believe in those kind of things. She thought people did what they want. There's no such thing as gay. There's people, there's just humans who feel the way they want to feel. There's, these are labels, you know. And she's teaching me all these things at a very young age. It's hard not to see the world as flawed sometimes. <laughs> nah, I'd be real messy to tell y'all some, <clears throat> mm, some tea on Miss uh, um, Mayor Coleman. But we won't go there today. We're going to talk about what we know publicly, what's been discussed. And one day, it is my hope that we get to a point in society, a utopia, where people understand and really just break down their existence. Because the people like Wes Gibbons, or Wes, Wes, I'm thinking of Wes. <laughs> oh, how to get away with murder. Wes Goodman. He ain't alone. And you are going to continuously have uh, scandal and mischief associated with hetero with non heterosexual things until people wake up and say and recognize that people are who they are. It it doesn't get no simpler than that. I don't know why. Some people continue to subscribe to certain terminology, certain uh, titles. And as you see, oftentimes more than not, the biggest adversary that you have is just like you or wants to be you or envies you in some type of way. It's no conspiracy that, you know, someone can publicly be negative or derogatory towards something and privately take part in it. Um, Wes Gubbins isn't alone. And uh, Windows feature. I'm sorry, Windows, y'all, Windows got the most updates in the shittiest process. God damn. Y'all update this dumbass shit, but it's still trash. I am not buying another Windows computer. I'm done. Um, so, this Wes Goodman, how funny, you know, I'm anti-gay, anti-this, blah, 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 blah. Lo and behold, he do. I don't like it because it reinforces the negative stereotype and the negative connotation that is often associated with people who do things outside of programming when they truly exist as an individual and not in groupthink or not as a generalized social title that is accepted oh, that is accepted by the world you know and until that changes we're going to always have stories like this y'all think right now I can guarantee you it's somebody you don't even that you wouldn't even think he got a wife he, he got kids um, he loves women excuse me he loves females but lo and behold, he's doing some extracurricular. And I don't... If you're the type of person who subscribes to religion or, or, or subscribes to things that, at the end of the day, there's no universal barrier preventing us from creating utopia or striving towards that. So you got to ask yourself where you're so desen I'm so desensitized to a lot of the things that used to bother me because I recognize it for what it is. It's all a game. All this shit's a fucking game. And the quicker you get free from that and, and find out who you happen to be outside of the programming, outside of what people tell you to be, what you were told to be, what you were conditioned to be, until you break it down to that degree... Then they're nothing to talk about. I gotta. I'm starting a new business. 
and I got 10 openings and 50 people apply. 40 people just got turned down. Some may need a job more than others. Um, millions, hundreds of millions of people give eight hours or more per day, five days a week to a job just to be poor or just to stay alive. And that don't bother y'all? Hmm. Okay. I'm crazy. I'm I'm weird. I'm crazy. Okay, I'll be all that. That's fine. That's a compliment. You know, all those things are relative. But um yeah, we we're, we're not paying a monthly payment. We're not paying interest for the sun to shine, for the moon to glow. So why the fuck am I paying all this goddamn money just to fucking live every 30 fucking days? So again, unless we want to go there with it, then I don't want to go there at all. Uh, religion, I mean, shit, I don't know how clear that could be fraud. I don't know how anyone can read that shit and not question it and, and not see it for what it is. Okay. Voting. Do y'all really believe that the people who maneuver this world would have people in office that's really going to try to change some shit? They got people in there that's going to go along with their agenda. White and black and all this other shit that y'all sit around here nitpicking with each other about. That shit don't exist up there, okay? Oh, we miss Obama. For what? What was so drastically different? I've been alive for 27 years. I can't think of one president that has done something that was so far-fetched and so out of the norm and so spectacular for humanity. They they talk about lowering taxes, raising taxes, increasing this, decreasing that, but they don't ever talk about eliminating that shit. There's no reason why no one should be hungry, have shelter, and not have to make compromises or live in uh, uh, a different quality of life because they don't make as money as you or this, that, or the third. But I say all that to say, to bring it back to the point of this video with Wes Goodman and his sexuality or preferences as an individual. No one's gay, no one's straight. You like who you are and you like what you like. Until we get to that, until we get to that, you're going to continue to have these secret relationships where people lie about who they are to fit in uh, or, or to push some agenda. You know, you think he's alone? There's plenty of people right now rappers, artists, local man at the grocery store, Walmart clerk, whether whether they cheating or doing whatever, they should have that right to express themselves. So when you say, oh, God, this and this ain't right, you don't shut, you're not qualified to speak on that. Shut the fuck up. You are repeating what you think you've been told, what you've been taught. When you see someone Subconsciously, you see that individual, right? So you're drawn to them. You're attracted to them. It's only until those social constructs. Oh, wow. She's beautiful. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, you're not a female. Oh, you ugly. But you see how quickly it changes? That shift? So instead of just saying, this is who I am, this is what I like, this is what I stand by, very few people can genuinely say, I am me. And me embodies all of my existence, not just male, female, man, woman, trans, gender fluid, non-conforming, uh, cross, whatever title we put on this shit. I am a nobody today, but you give me 100,000 followers, and $10 million, I'm somebody tomorrow to a bunch of nobodies. Did that make sense? We out here, and, and we all are guilty of this. I'm not saying that it's like I'm outside of this. So we all pieces of shit. Some just don't recognize that they piece of shit. When you spend money on taxes, when you pay your bills, when you send your child to school, you are fueling this shitty system. So don't be surprised when you deal with this shit. It's just your turn. Um, but as far as his gay shit, he's not alone. A lot of these R&B stars, I mean, the whole exposing and telling is not something of my forte. I don't really care, but there's plenty of people living double lives, triple lives, and 
I mean, I, 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 I just don't get it. I just don't get people. But this ain't going nowhere, right? As long as gays are berated and thought of less than and and bullied by the other mindless drones, you're going to have presidents, vice presidents. Um, it happens in all levels, you know, from fast food, uh, Fortune 500, uh, Charlie Sheen. I mean, especially once you get early Mar I mean, the list goes on. Uh I'm masculine. I'm D I'm DL. I'm I'm naturally masculine. I'm this. I'm that. So there's this constant this or that, and and that's the wrong way to think. I think for me, I've I've observed that that is just not an ideal that I would ever subscribe to. I'm not of that school of thought that people are innately not different. It's not about being bisexual or, or transsexual or heterosexual. It's genuinely having your own thought and feeling and being able to recognize what something that's manipulated you, you know. And oftentimes you'll hear, oh, someone was, if you see a gay person, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, they were molested. Well, that's not true. And that's not a direct causation. There's plenty of people who were molested and just genuinely like women or excuse me, females, the vagina, right? Uh, I haven't been able to prove this, but it's my study and my thought that theory that it's more so the individual and whatever essence and aura that, that they present. So it's a mislabeling of what you're attracted to because it's not as simple as I want this vagina or I want this penis or I want this, that. It's the totality of that individual that draws you. Because again, I know plenty of people and myself included where you have examples of people being attracted to you or interested in you in you. And then are those false pretenses or when you challenge whatever programming they have been given or your social construct, you don't align with them, then becomes that that double mindedness. So uh he's a hypocrite, a bigot, but again, this he's a dime a dozen. He's not, he, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, I've seen literally people on Facebook, on live, all oh, fuck these F faggots and all these gay motherfuckers and blah, 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 blah. But then five hours, an hour later, he's sucking a dick or he getting fucked. So again, it's crazy. Don't believe the hype. And it's not even, you know, that whole, you know, thou protest too much. Oh, I was in the car earlier. That whole you get what you pay for analogy is a bunch of bullshit. Look at um, minerals and natural sediments that we put prices on. The world and 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 pricing and challenge and value rather maybe in service of if you're paying me X amount of dollars because that's the currency we use to to buy goods and services. If I don't feel I'm getting what I'm worth or what I want, I might do my best job. Okay, fine, but. The material is cotton. Gucci made that same cotton, made a shirt, and it's going to charge you $3,000. Hanes took that same cotton, and it's going to charge you $3 for a pack of five. So you got to free your mind and dump it from that bullshit. And we all don't give what we could, right? And is it our obligation in a self-serving, capitalistic, driven, selfish society? No. If I'm a multimillionaire, it doesn't make sense for me to deplete my life. You know, our many would argue no. So when these celebrities and these people donate money, it's for their benefit at the end of the day. We're all selfish. Whether you're a doctor and you drive in an expensive car, or you feel like I got to live here, or I got to live there. It's all a game. So wherever you fall into that spectrum, whether you're at the top of the chain with a Fortune 500 job, you're a drug dealer, you're a welfare mother. Own, I mean, I don't know. Just just make sure you're doing what you're doing for you. But as far as this gay sh quote unquote gay shit that they're calling it. I don't know that it should be titled to anything anymore. Um I'd rather have a world of honesty and transparency versus a world of labels and, and, and social constructs and titles where people are feeling like they can't do something because of how someone feels. There could be millions of thousands of guys right now who love the way dresses look or love the way dresses feel. 
but because their quote unquote masculinity will be challenged, their identity will be threatened, they won't wear a dress. I've seen plenty of guys with panty fetishes. They're, they're grown men. They like females, but they want to wear panties or they want to be fucked with a dildo. Like, there's a lot going I mean, y'all know about it. Y'all be on the internet. Y'all see this shit. It's a lot going on. So, there is no more. Um, you just got to be in touch with yourself to see other people. And this is why this doesn't surprise me. I look at, I ain't going to say names, but there's plenty of R&B celebrities and local celebrities and people that I know personally that are like, not what y'all think they are. But because this is their career and how they make their money and how y'all view that type of life, they will never, quote unquote, come out with it. That's y'all's fault. And they they weak. But at the same time, who am I to judge? If I'm making millions of dollars living a lie, and it's how we live in this in this in this planet. Do I really like you that much to risk it? Or do I find someone who thinks the same and we secretly in a public is hooking people up for image control, branding? Hell, I think I still think Jay-Z and Beyonce is a business decision. Uh, was a was a business move. Uh and that's just one example. But the point is people like Wes Goodman are are a dime a dozen. And they aren't going anywhere because the way society as a whole recognizes and, and and associates a negative connotation with anything that is outside of the heterosexual norm, heterosexual norm. And until that changes, this type of situation is not going to go anywhere.